Where are we at, Robin? We made it to, to the, the summit top. of yeah. Whistler Mountain. Whistler Mountain, yeah, the summit of Whistler Outside Mountain. Outside of 1,500 feet. Jasper. In less than a mile, so pretty steep. Our 2022 summer adventure continues in Jasper National Park. With no scheduled plans, we did a little research to see what we wanted to do for our day in Jasper National Park. We decided to take the Jasper Sky Tram on top of Mount Whistler and then head out to do a hike in the park. We're Rich and Robin. Join us on our retirement travel adventures in our midlife van. After taking in the incredible views along the Icefields Parkway, we arrived to Jasper with no particular plan. After doing a little research, we decided to take the Jasper Sky Tram to the top of Mount Whistler. Here we go, up the Sky Tram to the top of Whistler Summit. The SkyTram starts at about 4,000 feet elevation, continues up another 7,500 feet in less than 10 minutes. Once at the top, you can hike another 1.4 kilometers and another 600 feet in elevation gain for more great views. The Jasper SkyTram is one of the best things to do in Jasper. On a clear day, you can see great views of the Canadian Rockies, Jasper, and Mount Robinson. Once we got off the Sky Tram, we continued up to Whistler's Peak for more amazing views. We are, we are Whistler Mountain, the top of a Jasper, Jasper Sky Tram. Gonna hike up to the summit, which is over here, and the clouds are starting <laughs> to roll in. Yeah. So we will see what we can see, I guess. Oh, Clouds. I'd rather be above the clouds, but there's Jasper. Hard to see. I say we just go and see what happens. Let's go walk through that cloud, Rich. 1.2 kilometers long, 500 meters high, which is how many feet? 1,500. In one mile? <laughs> okay. Hopefully the sun will come out. Hopefully it'll stay out for us to get up there. Rich, this is pretty much straight up hill. <laughs> this is pretty like steep. <laughs> We are. We are very far up. Hiking through the snow. Hiking through the snow up to the top of Whistler Summit. Yep.
we at, Robin? We made it to, to the, the summit top. of yeah. Whistler Mountain. Whistler Mountain, yeah, the summit of Whistler Outside Mountain. Outside of 1,500 feet. Jasper. In less than a mile, so pretty steep. Pretty steep, and it took us about an hour to go yeah, a mile up trail. It's pretty sad, but we made it. We were sightseeing along the way. Yeah, and Robin is trying to breathe. <laughs> I was trying to breathe. I was trying to breathe, and I was trying to get my legs to work. <laughs> Let's see how fast we can fall downhill. So, Rich. Robin. Was this view down here worth the hike? Yeah. The view look, look of look a thousand lakes, the, the colors. Blue. It's hard it's to see blue. in the camera, but there's so many different shades of blue and blue green. It's amazing. Will we beat the black clouds down the mountain? Stay tuned. Pretty wildflowers. Amazing view after view after Pretty view nice after view. What's the elevation? Eight thousand feet. Yeah. Oh, we didn't check the very top. It was. We have a one forty reservation to take the tram down the road. And what time is it? 103. 103. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll make it. Less than a mile downhill. Unless we wanted to stop at the cafe. <laughs> I think you'll have to wait for that. I think we still have over a half mile left. There's the tram. What kind of rich what kind of hiking footwear do you have on today? professional rock climbing shoes. Are those professional Mr. Rogers hiking shoes? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, Robin? Big zigzag. Big zigzag. Big to save my knees and my That's how you always travel. You just zigzag. Lakes beautiful. Yeah. You can't even tell that that's a, a river going by those lakes because it just looks like pure white. But it's just a glacier silt. Rich, I think the black cloud is starting to well, listen, beat us. Get in front of us so <laughs> I think we need to start running downhill. <laughs> That black cloud haunting us. We made it back to the tram before the rain and then time for our shuttle back to the parking lot. After our sky tram visit, we picked one hike to do in Jasper before heading back along the Icefields Parkway towards Banff. Maline Canyon is the deepest canyon in Jasper National Park with a depth of over 50 meters in certain points. There are six bridges to walk across while hiking along the canyon. Hiking along Maline Canyon was one of the most unique walks we have done.
We were amazed at how the forceful water had created such a beautiful canyon. With our day complete in Jasper, we headed back down the Icefields Parkway to Banff. We are back in Banff. Yeah. We're back in Banff. After cool. a day in Jasper. It's pretty cool in Jasper. We originally were going to go to Jasper, but I'm glad we did. Yeah, did a couple hikes. Sky. Sky. One day. We crossed back into Banff, where we stayed the night boondocking at the Saskatchewan River Crossing Resort parking lot. Since we were staying the night for free, we decided to eat at the pub on site. We also needed some gas, but with the price of 10 US dollars a gallon, we decided to get just enough gas to get us back toward the center of Banff for cheaper fuel. Subscribe to follow along on our next adventure as we head to Yoho National Park in Canada for some spectacular kayaking and amazing waterfalls. Thanks for watching. Click on the video below to check out our video on traveling the Icefields Parkway from Banff to Jasper National Park.